Welcome back to Peterson Auto. Today we're doing a toolbox tour. Uh, we're going to start with the white box on top. Well, actually, we're going to back up and zoom out. Now I have two boxes here. I like multiple smaller boxes. These guys get these big boxes, 20 foot long, whatever. Um, not really my thing. I like multiple smaller boxes because box A and box B can be for different things. In this case, box A, the blue point box I've had for years, is going to go ahead and go to uh, a new job with me at one point in time. So that is just sitting there taking up space. However, we'll be replacing it once it comes out because this box and the white box, the Craftsman and the white box, really ain't cut it. Um, a bunch of stuff always stuck on the side lights, magnetic parts, trays. There's a brand new one, not even opened yet. Um, when you go around here, now we look up top. Both of these, uh, that's a Viper tool storage, and that's a Craftsman. Both of these are ones I bought when Sears around here went out of business. Got them on a great discount. So up here, I have a bunch of sockets, the Bluetooth speaker, and the flashlight. Flashlights are actually supposed to go on the side. Uh, I got a bunch of sockets and Bluetooth speaker for when I want to listen to music off my phone. Electrical specialty tools go up here. I'm um, usually a couple more up in here that are out and about right now. Uh, I like them up there. It works. And this should be moving up there a little bit more too. Half inch drive extensions. I rarely use half inch drive, believe it or not. Um, when I do, I very rarely use an extension. So uh, that being said, they're up there. Uh, nice 3 8 and quarter inch drive torque spits, 3 8 extensions. Uh, if you look right down in there, some quarter inch extensions, walls and straights. 3 8 extensions. Um, I should forget here. Yeah, there we go. Full metric set of deep well sockets. English sockets. I got more sockets too. Um, English shallows. I got more sockets, but they don't fit in this setup right now. That's why I want to get um, this box to a new job here soon. And then get everything in another box. But I don't have room, as you can see from the shop tour. So, uh, right now I'm dealing with what I got. Screwdrivers, try to keep street heads here and Phillips here. Doesn't always happen, but perfect little screwdriver drawer there. Getting pretty well organized. Uh, Blue point screwdrivers, love these things. You use them hard freight. Uh, you know, great for those times where you go to the junkyard or whatever and you really don't care. Um, and a couple other ones. I got a Husky here. It's a nice old orange handle snap on. It's missing out here right now. It's over on the workbench. And here's the pliers, uh, snap ring pliers, side cutters, little channel locks, big, huge channel locks, adjustable wrenches, vice grips, needle nose, uh, little pliers, little mini vice grips there. Lots oh, of good stuff in there. There's the snap ring pliers. Uh, those are OEM brand, actually. I think that's like the AutoZone stuff. They work pretty good. Now we have miscellaneous junk. Um, that being said, miscellaneous junk includes a lot of stuff. We have uh, drive bits here, more drive bits here, punches, uh, picks, alums, keys, uh, little Dremel deburring tools. I can usually put these in a uh, drill and use them that way. I don't have a Dremel. Don't want to spend the money on one, but miscellaneous Allen keys, uh, Points file, not even open, but that'll be used on the generator at one point in time. Uh, brake spoon, uh, feeler gauge, razor blades, miscellaneous uh, scrapers, extra keys for stuff, a big tap. Uh, oh, magnetizer and demagnetizer. Love this thing. Uh, you got a screw that's going to be hard to get. Run the screwdriver through the magnetize side. Maybe put that the right way. Magnetize side, magnetize it. When you're done, run it through the demagnetize side, demagnetize it. Uh, a couple plumb bobs for some chassis work here. More drive bits. I got a ton of drive bits. Uh, little mini screwdrivers. Magnetic pickup tool. Um, I always keep the magnetic pickup tool sitting like that. Magneted to the box. Uh, just a habit I've done over the years. Uh, there's a screwdriver for prying. As you can see, it's had the tip broke off it multiple times. So that one don't even go in there. And I'll go down this drawer, which we'll cover next, which is, uh, got some bigger ratchets in there right now. Uh, that'll be in the other box when I go ahead and replace that and make everything work right. So, I've got some bigger ratchets in there right now. A couple other little things that shouldn't have fell down. Um, but yeah, bigger ratchets. 
files, saws, uh, for hacksaw, C-clamp, hammers, you name it, all that good stuff's in there. Wire brushes. Um, down here, I hate big drawers, I really do. They take up so much space. And there is multiple masses of extras, duplicates, uh, some rare use things. There we go, there's a tap chaser, uh, thread chaser set. Um, Picked them up to head studs once, a couple torque wrenches, inch pound, foot pound, extra wrench set, copper tubing, valve spring compressor, all that good stuff. So now we can go up here. This is the air tool drawer again. It's a very full. Um, got all the drill bits in here, air powered scraper, air body saw, cut off wheel, um, air die grinder with a wizard wheel on it. This thing works great. Blue point, love it. And then miscellaneous little stuff and abrasives and whatnot. And air body sander for Mac uh, Mac tools there, yeah. Um, and the big old blowgun extension. I always like these. Gets in a nice little tight crevices without bending over and twisting yourself in all kinds of weird shapes. And we have the wrench drawer. Uh, most of this is English right now. There's a pile of metric in the back again. Ran out of space because I'm trying to make everything work in this box until I can get the other one to a new job. So, uh... Gross foot wrenches, ratcheting wrenches, offset wrenches, flare nut wrenches, stubby wrenches, SAE and metric, uh, SAE normal open box end, metric open box end. And uh, one more thing I want to cover for the uh, Ryobi I said about earlier, keep my drive bits right up here. Um, easily accessible, we got the half, the quarter, the three eighth, and the Phillips. Uh, there's a couple torques actually down in the air tool drawer there. Um, that uh, if I need them, I can use them. Top of all those tools, the main thing I work out is this Blue Point box. Love it. It's got three eighth and quarter inch drive. It's got torques, it's got Allen, it's got extensions, swivels, all the sockets you'll need. Three eighth and quarter inch drive again. Added a little adapter here. This is a. Um, that's actually a snap-on adapter. Can't really see it from here. It's 3 8 quarter inch impact adapter, though. Um, always a good thing to add to the set. And brake tool. Always keep this in the blue point kit. One of those things you always forget. On over to the work box. Full set of screwdrivers. Uh, electrical stuff. Got uh, alum keys. Razor blade punches, punches. Uh... Spring loaded punch for drilling this nifty thing. It goes on the end of your grease gun and it's a little needle. You can actually go ahead, very, very sharp by the way. You could probably uh, inject some grease in yourself with it. That being said, uh, it goes into the end of the grease gun, has a zerk fitting on the end, as you can see there, and you can stab that needle into a boot um, to inject grease. So if your zerk fitting is bad, zip ties laying up there. Uh, Depot SAE sockets there. Here's the wrench drawer, full blue point, metric and SAE the whole way through, one inch down to three eighths, 19 mil down to eight mil. Hammers, dead blow, rubber mallet, rubber mallet, ball peen, ball peen, couple ratchets, little breaker bar, quarter inch ratchet, and uh, three eighth extensions. Now my plan when I go to work, bring the blue point box with me so uh, I go ahead and get some money up to get another blue point box uh, I could just go ahead and buy one but having tools sitting around not doing anything drives me nuts so until that time comes well once the time comes that I do need to bring the blue point box in I'm gonna go get a new blue point kit and that's gonna go in the box uh, let's see here there we go pliers uh, channel locks uh, adjust the balls, needle nose, slip joints, vice grips, adjustable, linesman, linesman pliers. I love, use them a lot. Good pair of blue point nippers, decent pair of uh, side cutters. And then down here is just a pipe wrench. I'm sure there's going to be more. A oh, pipe wrench and that bar. Um, that's one of those general purpose pry leverage poke things bars. I'm sure that's going to fill up more. And then nothing. This drawer here, since it's a big bottom drawer and I don't like big bottom drawers, we'll go ahead and get the blue point kit in it when I uh, 
you know, I'm leaving it at work or when I get the one for work use. So there's my toolbox tour. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or, you know, maybe have a good suggestion for me to better organize my stuff. Um, you know, feel free to leave them there and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think and we'll hopefully uh, have some more videos for you soon. Please like or subscribe. Thank you for watching.